I mean, it's really just gotten better and better, I'd say. My favorite part was just seeing the club grow from basically just a small, for fun club with a bunch of friends to what it is today. A full-blown lab and the whole social team and everything. It's been really great to see the growth. Um, I'd say it's a lot of growth. <laughs> Definitely starting like from our freshman year. It wasn't much, it was like the beginning of the club. We didn't really have anything. We were playing in one of the schools, like computer labs with like all those not great computers. And um, yeah, I've definitely grown a lot from then. Now we have a full lab. We have dedicated social team members. We have several national championships, state championships. But um, yeah, I would just say a lot of growth this way. Um, I would definitely say it's helped me grow as a person as well as uh, allowed me to do something I'm very passionate about. I feel like when I came into the freshman year, I definitely like kind of went with this negative stigma around the club, and I kind of avoided like telling people sort of thing I know me and uh, along with others on the Rocket League team did the same thing uh, but as I went through the next three years I'd say mostly in the junior year uh, I definitely like became more comfortable being like yo when people ask me what club are you I'm like yeah, I'm in esports and I do I work with social media and I play Rocket League and they like people also in general started uh, leaning more positively towards like thinking about esports like when I was thinking about it. Uh, so I joined the club as a freshman um, after my ask Mr. G if I could help out like as an admin, help out like build the Discord, so that's kind of where everything started. After that I got Jackson um, and Evan, another Rocket League player, to start playing some tournaments and that's kind of where everything started uh, Rocket League wise and then from there we started playing more tournaments um, and then we kind of expanded the club, brought in some more players um, and now we have three Rocket League rosters and then a ton of other rosters for other games. My experience in the past uh, three or so years has been pretty awesome. I joined the team in my sophomore year and didn't actually get involved with socials until my junior year, which means that I've been sort of learning along everybody else. In the meantime though, I've had an amazing chance to build up people from the ground up. I've gotten the chance to um, meet underclassmen and help them accomplish their goals, get them more familiar with how social media works, how you can get a brand out there. I frequently got to work with a team of graphic designers, editors, and we were able to make a lot of cool things happen. So I have definitely had an amazing experience in, the, in my past years of high school with this club, and I do not regret a single bit of it. Try different things. Try stuff out. You maybe want to try graphic design? Go for it. You maybe want to try hosting a tournament? Go for it. I mean, pretty much everything. You just gotta try it and fail and see what works. I'd say get involved at service level. A lot of people are just gonna be like, oh, I can show up to practice week uh, once per week, play my game once per week, and that be that. But you can make a lot more of your experience here by just getting involved. Like. Whether that be going to more events, just talking to Mr. G, helping other students out, staying after school, additional days, even doing the socials team. There's a lot more you can do than just play your game. And I think it's a really worth it to keep going. I would say we're a little, the class of 2022 is a little scared to leave just because we've put so much effort into it. And I feel like the advice I can give goes hand in hand with what I said uh, just before this, which is like, if you love it, and if you love doing it, um, in order to make the student-run club succeed, then everyone needs to do their part and consistently work together to generate new ideas and stay consistent in like whatever you're assigned to do. And if we can do that and continue with the passion that we've created this with, then I think it'll continue to go for years to come, even after we leave. Um, especially for those that want to play collegiately, you have to put in the work. If you're just there, like expecting to just win, it's not going to happen. Um, if you're asking for advice, you got to take advantage of it. So, for example, if you're uh, a Rocket League player and you want to play collegiately, you need to make sure that you're actually putting in that work, making sure that if you're given advice, that you're actually using it um, and that you are having purpose to your work, not just playing and putting in as many hours as possible. It's not the most useful. Instead, have some purposeful uh, time to write down like, what you want to work on and then work on that. And then the rest of your time, uh, if you want to play some more, you can. Otherwise, hang out some friends I do have some advice for any incoming or new members for the social team, and that is definitely to put in the work. I feel like we have a 
pretty you get what you give culture here at Karma Esports. It's a very, very awesome job. And the more you put into it, the more you get rewarded. I mean, those who sort of exceeded got the chance to work with our national tournament in the Greyhound Battlegrounds. And those who really excel get to go to our lands as our social media reps. And there are some pretty awesome opportunities for those who put in the effort. I'm stuck between two. It's, it's either the, the IUPUI land in 2019, where we won with League of Legends and took third place, or the uh, 66, game, 66 games land that we went through this year and also took third place. Both of the lands were absolutely awesome experiences. Yeah, I don't know. Lands are just the best about these ones. Um, there's two that comes to mind. The first one's probably the 66 Games land that Niall had talked about earlier. Um, like you said, there's nothing that really like rivals those land experiences. Like getting to go in person and play against those people is completely different. And the other, I would say it's less of like one specific experience, but more of just my entire time playing Overwatch here. Um, I made some lifelong friends playing on the Overwatch team and. Just that those three years that we had the same roster, the same competition, it was fun. It was like the whole dynasty that we had there. So I'd say one of those two. Definitely um, me, Nico, and Evan Wodok won a tournament called the UGC. Um, it's like a spring series or something, and we all got a large sum of money from it. We got a lot of the equipment for the lab, and I think that was probably the most hype experience. And also, I mean, I, I haven't on the state land yet this year, but I think that was definitely the most fun, winning that large sum of money and being able to contribute, give a lot back to the club for winning that. Um, probably like one of the first UGC tournaments that we played, um, where we were able to get first place and win a good amount of money. I think one of the other uh, great experiences was just going to like a 2v2 land where uh, we kind of dominated, but it was like, it, it was pretty fun because it was like out of town and it was our first like real 2v2 tournament. So that was good as well. One of my favorite moments as being one of the social media heads for the team was when we went to the 66 Games LAN. Uh, it was around the first semester of my senior year. I basically just tagged along with our League of Legends team for a tournament, and it was so awesome. It was our first time ever going to an official LAN event or competition, and I just spent the entire day brainstorming content, tweeting, and it was just really awesome. I mean, my favorite moment in particular had to have been the night before we actually competed. It was just all of us in our room, and we were just chatting, laughing about everything, having a great time. And it was definitely a moment that I will never forget.